Welcome back to another video. Today is the first of a series of videos that I'm going to be doing in 2024. The point of this is that so many people want to know and they want to know like how they're going to stick to their resolutions or what they're doing in the new year and it can be overwhelming at times and then there's this whole concept of like glowing up and people want to know what it is, how you do it, what the best way to do it is and uh, I just want to talk you through the process of glowing up in a sustainable way and a way that really impacts your life both in like work and business and like your skin, your health, your nutrition, your fitness, the whole thing. So we're going through a whole series and we're kind of starting with a simple kind of context on like, here's just a typical day. It's not like too done up or anything crazy. It's just like, here's some sustainable habits that maybe you could start incorporating. And then you can see like what you like, what you don't like and kind of take it as a grain of salt. And hopefully these can make an impact in your life and help you with glowing up. Let's do it together. The first thing that I like to do is go through your kitchen and clean it, especially your fridge. This is like I've taken most of the stuff out and I'm like doing like a deep clean and I'm making sure that all the shelves and everything are clean. There's like a bunch of things that can build up in your fridge, including like mold and weird bacteria that maybe you don't want your food next to. And then today I did not wash my hair right away because I washed it at night and I... I went to sleep with it a mess and so when I woke up it was kind of wavy and gross and I used this leave-in conditioner so I wet my hair with the wet brush and then I used the leave-in conditioner to kind of salvage it because I was going to run later in the day so I didn't want to wash my hair twice in one day because it'll make it dry and so I use this leave-in conditioner I use it on the ends I know I'm due for a haircut soon so I'm going to do that as part of the series but for now we're just going to use deep conditioner and pray and hope that my hair makes it until my hair appointment. And the next thing that we're going to do is take care of our face. I use a very basic facial cleanser and I typically do that in the shower. That way I don't forget. And then typically about once or twice a week, I use like a vitamin C mask. This one is really good. I actually got it in Europe the other year. I don't know where they sell it, but they probably sell it online, on Amazon, in a store, you name it. But find something like this it has pretty clean ingredients. You put it on, rub it in, and you leave it in for a while. It like it makes your face feel stiff because it basically dries out and takes out like excess moisture and any sort of oil and stuff that can clog your face. Obviously, if you have dry skin, maybe this isn't the best for you, but I don't know. I'm in a pretty tropical environment, so I really like this for my skin. And yeah, it just basically you put it all over and then when it comes the time, you rinse it off. I kind of rub it everywhere. My face gets kind of red from this, but like in a good way, in a way that you know that it's actually working, which is nice. Not in like an allergy way, just to clarify. So yeah, that's the face mask that I use. And then I went ahead and trimmed my nails. It's something I gotta do like once a month. I just randomly do it and today was the day. Then I decided to make some tea. I don't know, I'm working on hydration and working on hydrating more, so I was like, let's at least do some tea because then it's flavored. And this one is like loose leaf, so it's like, or how do you say it? Like the one that doesn't have the packets. And so you don't want all the stuff pouring through, so I use like a little strainer. I think I got it from Walmart for like three bucks. And here's me drinking it with the face mask still on while my face is drying out so you guys can see. And then doing the things that you don't want to do or the things that you're putting off is key to like building good habits because it's doing the things in the moments where you don't feel like it that allows you to establish the habits and the discipline to bring what you're doing to that next level and to really see the results of what you're doing. So here I am doing my laundry and then I went ahead and got the face mask off because as you can see it's super dry and honestly my skin felt so good following this and I basically just use my hand and I rub it off until it's all the way off and I just add water and that's kind of how it goes. Turns out like that my skin is nice and glowy and then I make sure to incorporate veggies. I try and do so in every meal. So those are both frozen veggie variations. And then I work on something creative. So right now I'm mood boarding for a skate shoot that I want to do a short video for. So I'm looking for unique angles and different ways that I can do that. And then making sure to spend time outside. This is my landlord's dog, Nalo. Nalo is really cute and sweet. She loves the beach. So I like to take her to the beach and let her go in for a little swim. 
It's been kind of big waves lately, so she hasn't been swimming very deep, but she's at least able to get wet, or the waves just kind of wash up on both of us, and we both get wet. But either way, you can see she's so happy to be on the beach. Went on a run. This is the end of the run where I'm doing a little cool down, and I'm using the Nike running app during this time for recording my runs. This is the first video in the series. I hope you enjoy it. There's going to be plenty more to come. I'm going to do this, I think, on a weekly basis just to kind of give you updates and different things that you can do along your journey of getting better in 2024 in all different aspects of your life and doing that sort of glow up that you're looking for. I hope you found kind of these foundational things that I'm doing in my day to day useful and I hope you incorporate them. It all comes back to your daily habits and the small things you're doing, but also being careful not to change like too many things at once because then it's hard to sustain. So I would say focusing on a few small things that you can do to set up your day in a healthy way.